<laughs> Hi, this is David again. And um, this video that I'm doing <laughs> is more comedy. <laughs> These <laughs> people, they really must think the internet does not exist. I don't think Joseph Smith and the Gold Place existed. <laughs> but they have a right to believe the internet does not exist. Let me get my prop in. <laughs> I paid a buck for this. I want my money's worth. <laughs> Come on. All right. Here we go. The pictures that are coming in now from <laughs> disaster areas. There's this group of people that are in the disaster area that... Um, are all wearing yellow, bright yellow, like when you go down the street so you won't hit the uh, traffic guy. They're wearing these bright yellow vests. It fits over their clothes and it's bright yellow. And right here on the side of it, it says, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, <laughs> Helping Hands. Well, now, I'm not being critical of, of volunteer organizations. Good grief. You know, we all need help at different times. And for the neighbors to come over and help uh, and uh, lift things and help us, that's a wonderful thing everywhere. And, and I frankly don't give a rat's ass if they come over in a yellow vest <laughs> that says, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, here's where most people don't understand the Mormons. <laughs> They're not really coming over to help you. They're coming over to validate who they are and hope that somebody might join their cult and pay their tithing to their leaders. Now, not every one of them. Come on, there's a lot of people between 15 and 30 years old that, that really have a, um, a spirit of wanting to help in the community, and that's wonderful. Why do they have to wear that vest? Can't they just wear an old dirty t-shirt? Can't they just, you know, work and not get um, advertisement? Advertisement for the Mormon church. See, the Mormon church has been telling its people <laughs> for years that when there's a disaster in the United States, they're the first ones there. Well, I read <laughs> the other day, it's true. They can be one of the first ones there. They charter helicopters and airplanes and they fly over. So they count that as the first ones there. They are not the first ones there on the ground. They are not the first ones there with food and clean water and tents and shelters. It's just not true. So to cover that and hope that old people like me just die and the, and the rumors die with me, you young people that watch, be aware that uh, now see the red cross someone's going to say see my mind has already said well the red cross they wear that red vest and cross well that's from wartime that's for from people being injured and needing a medic and that's a legitimate uh, long-term um, symbol sign token or symbol that everyone recognizes as aid or medical aid. Well, <laughs> the yellow vest, um, I don't know if it's going to catch on, <clears throat> but they're cheap. <clears throat> they're four bucks, three fifty, four bucks. And uh, you can buy them. <laughs> Guess where you can buy them? No, not at Walmart. <laughs> no, not at Target. Only the online church. <laughs> website of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So there's another four bucks. Now, if you get a family, now that you, you know, you've got seven kids and a wife. So it's five, uh, four times eight, let's see, uh, or four times nine five, times four, it's $36. So you can all go out and uh, advertise for the Mormon Church. Now here's what's not told. And, and it makes me angry. It makes me angry. The church, Mormon church, says that it's first on a uh, disaster. Well, flying a plane like Obama or a president over a disaster area it doesn't make you first on the ground. Um, the church is not first on the ground, and the church is not significant on the ground compared to the Red Cross and uh, other Christian uh, Catholic charities. Uh, I've dealt with them. It's a wonderful organization. 
you don't have to be a Catholic to receive um, love and kindness and money and food and clothing from Catholic charities. Uh, but with the Mormons, you better have garments on and a temple recommend waving it before you get a drink of water. Um, the truth is, <clears throat> I've seen what the Mormon church left uh, in Haiti when the, uh, I, I forget if it was a hurricane or tropical storm or whatever that blew the whole country down. They gave each family like four two by fours and um, two pieces of tin so they could put the two by fours on the ground and put the tin up over their head and uh, they call that shelter. <laughs> These people that live up on the hill and they've got 10,000, 20,000 square foot houses and they give these Haitians who haven't eaten for days, uh, you know, four two by fours <clears throat> and a piece of tin, no hammer, no nails, no way to hold that tin up so when the wind blows, it blows their tin off. The reason that the church is doing this, I believe, now this is just supposition on my part because if you write and ask them, they won't say, so all you can do is supposition. They're never putting a dime out for disasters, okay? Most of you know, who have been in the church for years, that the Relief Society is really the backbone of the Mormon church. <clears throat> well, here's how <clears throat> the Mormons um, avoid giving any money away. Mormons don't give money away. Mark my words, they don't give money away. Um, they will, in the old days, they used to pay uh, a couple of months of rent or um, house payment, car payment, uh, necessities. These days they don't even have enough money to do that. But um, the yellow vest is a ploy <clears throat> by the Mormon church to say, see, we're working, we're there. Now, the people of the Mormon Church, many of them are there uh, out of their own pockets, their own gas, their own insurance. <laughs> the vests aren't handed out for free. <laughs> God dang. The church is going to take $4 for the vest to advertise freely. And so when the cameras of CNN and CBS and others come around, they see those yellow vests. And now the church puffs themselves up the authorities and go, see, we're first on the job. <laughs> I don't see Monson's ass there. <clears throat> Boy K. Packer is strapped into, with a seat belt into his uh, conference chair because he falls out all the time. <laughs> the Mormon church is not there giving money and assistance. The people of the Mormon church are volunteers and they're, they're good volunteers just like every other group out there that's good volunteers. But the church doesn't give them shovels <laughs> or buy them vests or helmets or whatever. They're just there on their own. Now here's how the church gets away with the lie. The Relief Society is constantly putting together what they call 72-hour um, uh, survival kits. And they're making quilts and blankets and, and uh, shawls and, and dresses and things uh, as projects in the ward. Well. Those projects get sucked up into Salt Lake, into the warehouse up there over on uh, the west side of Salt Lake. And then the church values. <laughs> now let, let me tell you, only what I've seen. <laughs> You're gonna hate me on this one. We, we had to give our table away. We had a little uh, coffee table, it was wood. And uh, it wasn't really nice, it was, you know, average, less than average, it had scratches on it, whatever. And I thought, well, <laughs> It's not even worth throwing in the trash, but I thought, well, maybe someone at Desert Industries will buy it for five or 10 bucks, and a family that didn't have a table, now they're happy to have a table. So uh, I went over to Desert Industries, and I donated our table. Well, the next day I happened to go into Desert Industries, there's my table <laughs> sitting right out. I go, hey, you know, maybe I did a good thing. And I look down on my table and it's $25. <laughs> it's twice what it's worth. It's twice what it's worth. And, you know, I went over to one of the uh, Deseret Industries employees and I said, you know what? I said, I've come in here several times and it seems like I'm going to prophesy that you have a new manager and he, because it's not going to be a she, uh, is uh, pricing higher then you used to price. And he looked at the ground and he said, well, you're right. <laughs> okay, so there's my $25 table.
So Desert Industries, um, their, their stuff is donated, of course, but they make a profit on it. <laughs> and, and I guess it's good because some of those people would never have a job without Desert Industries, so I'm not going to badmouth Desert Industries. But I am going to badmouth the way the Mormon Church does its PR. It tells its people that it's the first there, only in an airplane, only flying over first there. They are not first on the ground, and they are not significant in what they give. The Red Cross, of course, is a huge organization. Catholic uh, uh, charities and uh, other religious groups put a lot more on the ground than the Mormons do. Well, what the Mormons do is they take the free quilts that the Relief Society made, and then like the guy at Desert Industries, he'll go, oh, that's a $200 quilt. <laughs> You can buy the damn thing anywhere for $25. So he goes, okay, put it on the list. We're donating $200. And then, you know, a little baggie that has a toothpaste in it and a toothbrush <laughs> and um, maybe some uh, lip gloss or something. And uh, those are the 72-hour things that the sisters make. And he'll look at that and go, my God, that's 10 bucks right there. <laughs> Jeez, you could get that anywhere at a dollar store and get changed back. <laughs> so it's called an in-kind donation, in-kind, which means it's not money. It's something that they valued as money. And then <laughs> I, I guess if they go over to the bishop's storehouse and take out all of the canned food and send some of it over to uh, a country, uh, that food was produced by the members of the church free. They picked it free and they put it in the cans for free and now the Mormon church <laughs> goes, <laughs> look at that box of roast beef. God dang, that's $125. <laughs> that goes on the list. And that's how they do it. Say, we give millions away. Not money. Not money. They take advantage of their people. Say, see, we're first on the ground there. Look at, we, we got those yellow vests there. Those people aren't paid by the Mormon Church. Those people are just nice people that happen to be, you know, in the Mormon Church right now. And the church is getting free PR. And the church is validating what it says it does. That they're the first on the ground. They give the most. And um, that a lot of it is cash. None of it's true. None of it is true. And uh, I'm going to be a voice for that. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a voice. I think... It's wonderful what the people in the Mormon Church do, uh, but it's it's very evil what the authorities do. I think in the Mormon Church because they pay themselves first and then give four two by fours to a Haitian family for shelter. Uh, that's obscene. That's obscene. And uh, you know I've told you guys before I'm atheist, but uh, <clears throat> I think if uh, a religion proclaims to follow. Uh, the, the teachings of Jesus Christ. I don't remember seeing any of those in the Book of Mormon or the Bible uh, that the authorities um, come first in the millions of dollars, cash, real money, and some little Haitian family that had nothing to start with. You throw them a toothbrush and a toothpaste, they don't even have water to use it, and you, you know, charge off on the 5013C in kind donation to the U.S. government as you file your taxes, a $10 um, <laughs> baggie. I don't think it's honest. I'm sorry. I just don't think it's honest. And uh, that goes on all the time. Now, up in Utah, um, we had a, a terrible um, uh, windstorm, 96, 100 mile an hour winds, and uh, it knocked down several trees. It blew down almost every fence uh, in the community, and power was out for. Uh, two or three days for some people. And um, again, you would see this wonderful coming together of um, the Mormons uh, trying to help each other. And I don't think that they would go from house to house and say, oh, are you a Mormon? Oh, we're not gonna help you. That's, they're not like that. But they're wearing <laughs> yellow vest. Now, I saw all of these uh, huge pieces of equipment. Oh my God. the. Um, uh, big trucks pulling st stumps and stuff up and they were individual Mormon companies people who owned the company happened to be Mormons it wasn't the Mormon church helping they don't pay money they don't pay volunteers they 
give the vol they don't give they sell the volunteers a, a vest and then say see as a church we are christian well they're not they're a cult and the cult members uh, are taken advantage of and uh, it was wonderful to see the communities cleaned up so quickly and uh, we had a couple of landfills even filled all the way capacity and um, electricity and uh, you know people buying coleman stoves and lamps and whatever the mormon church didn't put a cent into the community not one damn cent every truck i saw was owned by private industry uh, it was also owned of course by the cities but there was nothing that the, the Mormon church rented and then had people drive and pay them whatever, eight bucks an hour as a volunteer to pick up trees and remove them from the sidewalks and, and all the things that went on. So, you know, let's call a spade a spade. Let's be honest. Let's be uh, forth, uh, forthright. Let's be transparent. And uh, let's tell the truth. Gosh, why can't these people be honest? I don't know why, because they're not what they say they are. You know, oh, what tangled webs we weave when we at first uh, deceive. Well, that's what they've got. And uh, when you see these yellow vests, these are individuals. These are not people paid by the Mormon church. They're volunteers that came out of the local stakes and wards who are good people who are trying to help their neighbors. And the church doesn't give them those vests for free. The church doesn't buy them a shovel. They bring their own shovel and equipment. And if they get hurt, there's no insurance. And uh, if they go to their bishops and say, gee, I was hurt removing uh, tree stumps and I can't work now, the bishops say, well, you shouldn't have been out there. And uh, so, um, uh, you know, maybe I'll buy a yellow vest and walk around town. Um, be aware. Be aware. They're not telling the truth. And uh, I find that sad. I find that sad because they do have some good people that will eventually probably find out they're being taken advantage of. But the Mormon church doesn't pay a dime uh, unless it's cash to Mitt Romney and his uh, presidential campaign. There, I think you've got cash for billboards and for um, headquarters and flags and whatever. And, you know, yeah. I paid for that flag. The Mormon church didn't. So let's be honest. Let's look at the way things really are. Thanks.